I have handled several cases, and I should say that bad faith cases um, tend to stem from underlying good cases. Um, we, I had a case where um, my client had a fairly significant brain injury, and we sent a, insur a letter to the insurance company for, a, for their policy limits, which is the underlying $25,000 policy limits. Um, for whatever reason, they missed the deadline for responding, and we ended up having to file suit, and ultimately we were able to get a high six-figure settlement on behalf of our client on a $25,000 policy by making the insurance company pay the bad faith penalties for not having settled the case when they had the opportunity to do so prior to the litigation process starting. Um, and again, it, it, it was very rewarding because my client deserved a lot more than the $25,000. Unfortunately, at the outset, it looked like that was all she was going to be able to get because that was the extent of the insurance company available and the individual who caused the wreck certainly did not have any assets um, that would help her. When the insurance company refused to pay or did not pay in a timely basis when they were given the opportunity to do so, we were able to get about 25 times or so the policy limits in order to help the client.